Hello everyone, Zerfyvision here, and welcome back to the channel. Today on part 2, we are actually going to go ahead and edit a farm simulator video. Now I've recorded a episode 5 of the Pleasant Valley series, and so we are going to get it ready to edit and upload to YouTube. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to actually add our in channel intro. So in I use a program called Shotcut. It is free. I will have a link in the description below for you to download it and use. So in Shotcut, once you have it open, this is the screen you are graded with. You have your project listing here, new project. You can go ahead and name your project as you seem fit. And also any recent projects you have worked with before are listed here. All you have to do is click on them and it will automatically open them. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and hit open file. And then I'm going to click on our channel intro. It will automatically start playing when it, you load it. You do need to go ahead and add it to your timeline. It is as simple as clicking on the video and dragging it down here to the, your timeline. And there it is. It is in the beginning of your timeline. So now all you have to do is you can move your header around just by clicking. If you want to go to the beginning of your particular clip, you hit the little back button here. You can play your video, pause it anywhere, add anything to the video. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and add our actual farm sim recording. Again, you go up to open file. Just click on your farm sim video and it will put it on here and start playing. Good morning. Such a beautiful day here. Right. So I go ahead and pause it as we don't need to play the entire video at this time. And then you just click, drag, add it to your timeline. So now it's ready to be worked with. You can add filters to it. You can change and manipulate it, whatever you want to do. What I like to do is go ahead and add a transition here from the intro video into the video. All you have to do is go ahead and click and drag the video over to the left. And it's top of the hour, so the clock is chiming in the background. Lovely. Anyways, so now you see here that I added a little transition. If you actually click on it, and then you're going to want to go over to Properties. And here you can choose which type of transition you use. There is a list here. You can add custom transitions if you like, or you can pick one from the list. The default one is the dissolve transition. So just pick one, choose what you like. You can go back here, just click anywhere in the timeline before, and hit play, and you'll be able to see what it does. So there we go. Good morning. Such a beautiful so day. So next here thing we're going to do is we're going to go through Welcome the video back. and figure so out what we need to cut out. To do. Uh, so you just go ahead and play through the video that field until you need to time. do any type of cutting and plant anything like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and let the video play for a little bit and then we're going to go from there. The harvest if not that will happen next time. So let's go ahead and head over to the Ford and get going on that plowing job. It looks like something else I need to add to the list today is look into getting a pressure washer. Luckily the plow is right behind us. Okay, another thing you can do is you can pause the video here, 
just scroll down your timeline, start clicking in places, on, and it will update the video to that where the time head is here. So this is us going ahead and plowing the field. So I actually wanted to do a time lapse here. So this isn't where I wanted the time lapse to start. You just go ahead and click until you find the spot in your video where you're going to time lapse. Okay, that looks about the right place there. So you pause the video and then you're going to come over here in your timeline tools and you're going to click this little icon here that looks like a page with a breakdown in the middle. That will actually split your video at the playhead. So go ahead and click it. It takes it a second. Now you can see it actually split your video here and you will have a space in between your two videos. If you leave the clip that split like that and you play over the video, you will not notice it in the final render. But the reason for doing that is because we are actually going to time lapse this section of our video. So you do need to split it off from the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and find where we're done plowing. We're still going here, so you keep scrolling. Let's try there. Nope, still there. A little bit further. Looks like we are just about to where I wanted to do it. Just about. Okay. Let's go ahead and try right there. Okay, we're just about to the end here, but I need to... Okay, that looks about right place there, so we're going to go ahead and click back here. I, I want to start the, the stop the time lapse when the tractor actually turns into this last section here, so you're just trying to find that spot. Okay, that looks like a good spot. So we're going to go ahead and split the video at the playhead. So again, you're going to take a second and you're going to see it splits it up. So now what I'd like to do is actually remove the game audio that was recorded within the video from the area of the time lapse. So if you go ahead and click on it, we're still on our properties tab. And what you're going to do, you'll see here where it says speed and duration. So this is, your speed is at one time, so your video is going to play at normal speed. I actually will do an eight times time lapse. So it's just a matter of changing that one to an eight. And all you need to do is just click on the box, hit your backspace or delete, put an eight in there and hit enter. It will take it a second to change it. So now you can see here the video has disappeared. Well, it's still there. So you need to scroll all the way back to where the video is. Oh, here we go. So now here's your video. Now you're going, well, what about this? If you start here, let's say we're here, 
go ahead and hit play. Now, Shotcut does not like to play time-lapse videos, so if you try to play them, it does stutter. But see, now we got this dead space. Well, we don't want this in our final video. So all you got to do is right-click anywhere in that colored box and just hit remove. And it will remove that section and will bring your remainder of your video down. And now it is right in line. Okay, so we still need to remove the audio from this time lapse. So what you need to do is click on the filters tab. And we're actually going to add a mute filter. So you just hit add a filter. And you, I have it on my favorites list, but it, it will be under audio. Just find the mute and click it. And now make sure that the box is checked next to it and the audio is muted. So when you do play the video, there is no audio, but the video will still play. The reason for doing this is because we're actually going to add a music overlay in that section. And I will go over that in a little bit after we finish editing our video. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is we pl planted our coffee in this field as well. Same thing, I do want to do a time lapse while we are seeding our field. So we are going to go down our timeline here and find where we were planting. Well, looks like we are planting here. So that's a little too far. So another key thing is to look at this right along here on the bottom of your timeline. That is your audio track that was recorded in the video. You can potentially find where you were talking about what you were doing. So it helps if you find where the video peaks. So let's take a look here. Yeah, see how the audio peaks a little bit here? So this is probably where I was in talking about what I was going to be doing. So let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and go get this started and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, so I actually want to go ahead and get over to the field and start the planting before I start the time lapse. So just let the video play a little bit until you find the perfect spot to go ahead and split the split the clip again. Okay, that looks like a good spot, so let's go ahead and pause there. Go ahead and split at the playhead. Give it a second here. Now, usually what I do, I will let it play just a little bit longer, just to see if I said anything else that I want to include in the video. Okay, it looks like we are good, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Now we need to find the end where we are finishing up our seating. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Same thing, the easiest thing to do is look for when the audio peaks. Let's go ahead and click here and check. Oh, we're still planting, so let's go ahead and scroll down some more. And a little bit more. Ah, here we are. So you can see here, the audio peaks a little bit. So we're probably about in the right place. So let's click here, go and hit play. We're just finishing up the last little strip here. Oh. And there we go. So actually clip right about here looks a little bit right we can always let the cedar drop and start the last row before we cut off the time lapse so let's go and hit play just for a second that looks like a good place so again we're going to split at the playhead 
let it uh, refresh there and then click on the um, clip that we are going to time lapse go to your properties tab change your speed to eight times now you can fiddle with your speeds pick a faster slower depends on what you're looking at eight times seems to be a good uh, time lapse so it's not too fast too slow whatever you want to do and just hit enter Let's shortcut uh, catch up to what you're doing. There we go. All you need to do is right click here and click remove. And then you kind of click this back button here. See, we are at the end, way end of our video. So now we need to get back to where the end of the time lapse. So just skip to previous point and we are at where our time lapse is. Okay. So go ahead and now we need to remove the audio. So again, you just cl click on the clip, go to filters, hit the little plus and put on the mute. Perfect. Now you are, your time lapses are all set. So the last thing we need to do is we need to check out the last part of the video and make sure that we don't need to do any more cutting or removing of any clips so just go ahead and hit play you can either play from this point the last little strip here and the coffee or you can the skip ahead whichever growing. you want to do it Once looks like we here, got about uh, go ahead and give five minutes left of our come out and video to today. Like look to, at uh, get the tractor. so I'm gonna pause here and we're going to scoot down a little bit more because I do remember that I purchased a power washer and had it installed. Well, I don't actually want to show that to you in the final video. Because we are, this video is kind of on the lines of a role play. So I do cut things out. So again, I look for audio changes. So let's go ahead and click here. And hit play okay let me go ahead and give the shop a call and see if they can get that installed okay the idea here was to go ahead and put in a a little um, sound effect of a phone ringing like I was calling the shop so what I did is I just recorded a small section of doing nothing and then once I pull up the menu I don't want that so I want to go ahead and clip this out so again just find a spot before you pull up the menu split at the playhead and then we need to find a spot where we finished up and got our power washer all installed see it I'm putting placing it down so let's look here. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, we're still in the menu. Oh, here we go. Looks like right here is where we got it installed. Let's hit play from here. Well, it only took them a couple hours to get out and get. The okay. I want to actually go ahead and clip it right before I start talking about, about it. So we're going to go ahead and hit split it playhead now I don't want any of this part of us actually buying and placing the power washer in the final video so just go ahead and click on this clip right click and hit remove so now we don't have that part in so if you go, click here where we're going to have the phone ringing hit play well it only and took them a couple hours to get out and get this uh, installed by magic so let's go ahead and pull the forward out the uh, power we'll washer is installed washed. now something i want to do is i want to add a transition here same thing just clip click on the final clip here and drag it to the left so it actually overlaps the previous clip. Now I want to line up 
my audio at the bottom here right here see where the audio peaks that's where I start talking so I just wanna slide it over to the left and let go of it and it now it puts in this transition so go ahead and click on it and go to your properties tab and find a transition that you like you can use the same transition you used before you can pick anything else I kind of like this iris circle so let's go ahead and pick that and then click your playhead back before it because you do want to see what it looks like and go ahead and hit play well it only took them a couple hours to get out and get this uh, installed so let's go ahead and pull the forward out and we'll get it washed Okay, we are at the final end of our video. The last thing I need to do is check the end of the video. Oops. It doesn't like to always go to all the way to the anywhere's past the playhead if you're actually playing the video, so you do need to pause it. Now I do leave, record some extra at the end of the video just for the video to be faded out and we'll go over how to add that filter here in just a second because if you don't do a transition at the end of something in your video you will see that it all your video is just gonna abruptly stop at the end so what I like to do is add a what's called a fade out to my video so the next part of what we're going to do is we're going to go back and add filters to our clips. Um, if you want to fit, um, have your audio fade in and out, if you want to add any filters to the video, this is the step that I normally do this. I haven't been using any fil um, video filters itself other than fade in, fade out. So obviously the thing I want to do is at the very end of my video, I always fade the video out. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and click on the final clip of our video and then you're going to click on filters and it's as simple as adding the fade out filter so it is under video and just find fade out which is way down here it is set as a favorite so you can put it on your favorites list if you want if you want to add any favorites all you need to do is click the little asterisk next to the filter you want to use so let's go ahead and click on fade out video down here on your timeline you can see it's got this like triangle of a dark shade it automatically every time you add it it does it at a full second well if you do a full second it just fades out really quick quick at the end well I want it to be a little bit longer so all you need to do is come over here to where it says duration right under the filter list and you can actually change the time so I want it to start fading out probably right about here right after the tractor is parked and the easiest thing to do is go ahead and click here about where you want it to start fading this is where this comes in handy for me the time the time in the left box is your current position. The time that is here is your total duration. As you can see, after you hover over it, it will tell you that. So we're at 14 minutes, seven seconds, and the duration is 14 minutes, 16 seconds. So we have about nine, 10 seconds of we want to do a fade. I usually shave about a second off of that. So let's go ahead and change that to eight seconds and just hit make sure you hit enter after you change the number now you can see the the gray box is bigger so go ahead and hit hit play and that looks about right to where I want to go ahead and fade out my video by fading out the video you don't have that abrupt ending which makes it a little bit nicer and more finished of course you can do anything you want to change that Okay, next thing I want to do is go all the way back to the beginning of the video. So just, you can just click this until you're all the way at the beginning. 
or you can drag your timeline back and click anywhere in the video to have your, your playhead at that location. Well, that's all we have time today. Join us next time as we add in some music to our time lapses, as well as the phone ringing sound clip. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below. For all future videos from Zervi Vision, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. Also, feel free to join me in my Discord. The link is in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.